Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech and Art. Hope you guys are doing well. Today I'm going to discuss about SQL Server, one of the performance issues. So before starting the session, I would request to each and everyone please like, do subscribe and please visit the SQL Server playlist. There are around more than 120 videos which can help you day to day activity. If you are getting help, please share with others as well. Okay, thank you guys. Let me connect the Manum Studio. So I'm going to discuss about today these three commands. Okay. So what is the difference between these three commands? When we are hitting the DVCC free, co uh, free pro cache and plan handle ID and internal. So we'll discuss in, in details all, all three commands one by one, okay? So before starting this session, I will explain a little bit uh, why we should avoid to use the DVCC pre, uh, free pro cache actually. So what's happening whenever you are hitting this, you know, any query, let's say a SQL Server, uh, a select query. So uh, internally in a C SQL Server engine itself, they are checking the SQL query execution plan, whether the query execution plan already available for that particular query or not. If it is available, they will take the uh, data from the data cache and it will revert back to the user. No need to fetch the data from uh, database files actually, right? So because optimizer already created a best execution plan and it's there in a, your buffer memory, memory, right? So now the point is if you, uh, if the query execution plan is not available for that particular query, so it will take the data from the data files and then it will create a query execution plan. It will keep a, a query execution plan in a buffer, buffer cache and then it will revert to the user. So let's assume a particular select query, maybe you required very frequently to fetch the data, right? So if your plan is there, so it's very easy to SQL Server engine, uh, you know, take the data from there itself and revert back. So there is a less IO consumption, right? Because already plan is there, already data is, uh, it will take it from the data cache and it will revert back to the user. So if it is uh, in that scene, uh, in that in that case, that's the region. Uh, SQL Server engine keeping the execution plan uh, for some times. There is a scenario th they will flush out also uh, based on the kit, uh, priority wise. We'll discuss later. So every plan having some priority and they will keep it uh, in a buffer memory. If it is less priority, they will flush out from there itself. So that there is internal process. We'll we'll forget about that. We'll discuss later. So now the point is when we can, you know, uh, execute the DVCC flow cache and what is this difference? So the point is uh, whenever you see we are going to apply DVCC free flow cache, it's very careful because there may be the performance issue impacted because of the one, uh, one session, one uh, queries, uh, you are uh, going to execute DVCC flow cache. There are multiple session, multiple plan caches also it will flush out from the instance. So whenever you are hitting the DVCC flow cache, it will, what it will do, it will flush out the, all the in, um, um, uh, query execution plan from the SQL, SQL Server instance. So now think about, you was facing for the particular one query, uh, one uh, getting slow or maybe uh, running from the long time. And because of that, you simply executed DVCC flow cache, free flow cache. So what it will do, it will impact it for all the users, right? all the plan cache because it's flush out from the SQL Server instance itself. So rather than using this DVCC flow ca free flow cache, you can use these two commands, DVCC free flow cache, plan handle ID and internal. So what is the difference between this, these two commands? So if you executed DVCC free flow cache, plan handle ID, so before that you need to fetch out uh, this uh, plan handle ID. So for that, uh, how to do that. So this query will help you. This select query will uh, fetch the details about the plan handle. So if you execute on a particular database or particular SQL Server instance, so you will get the plan handle ID. So let's assume, uh, so you, you, you need to see that this plan, uh, query plan, uh, query plan need to delete actually. So rather than execute the DVCC free pro cache, you can take the plan handle ID and you can put it here, plan handle ID, and you can delete that particular execution plan. The same way, you can check the pool also, the, what is the consumption of the hardware actually. So this query will give you the internal things about the, uh, the you know, the in terms of uh, memory cache and uh, used memory. So in terms of, uh, I think this system is not so much utilized, you will get the help for the CPU also if it is CPU highly consumption. So based on that, you can uh, you can delete the pool 
also right whether that pool internal is causing the high same like you will get the cpu also i'm not getting because this system is idle so you can put it the internal things and you can release the the uh, from the cache memory so rather than execute the dvcc free pro cache you can try with this first before executing in the worst case only you can execute the dvcc free pro cache because because of the one user impacted you can flush out the all execution plan and there may be performance issues because query optimizer again need to create a query execution plan for all the request and then then need to keep so there may be high consumption of the you know uh, io in terms of cpu memory so so because of that try to avoid use this dvcc pro cache go with this two option firstly and see how it's working how it's behaving actually hope you got the points i will keep this this two query in a description how to fetch the plan and plan handle and how to check the pool okay and based on that you can only apply these two commands okay try to avoid use dvcc free pro cache if it is very worst situation now you need to take the sql server instance restart then only go with this dvcc free pro cache okay so well that's it for today guys i will come in a, with another session very soon till then bye bye thank you and happy navratri guys